on Pentathlon Season 2. Two. The hunt for the all-round champion. My name is Trishma Pinto. And I'm Joel Outskoon. Well, last week too, we saw some amazing talent on this very platform. And today, the game is going to get even a little bit better. Why do I say this? Because it's not two boys schools competing against each other. But we have a girls school and a boys school. So Trishma, shall we get the teams on stage and get things started here? Yes, indeed. And we go ladies first. Let's get started by inviting the girls to come forward. We have with us today in this match, the girls all the way from Candy St. Anthony's Girls College Candy. Welcome the girls on stage. We have the very talented and very powerful boys who have come all the way, I would say. This is from Colombo. Put your hands together for DS in Nike College, Colombo. Okay, so we got both teams on stage ready to take on each other. So I think it's right about time that we get to know a little bit about these teams. So whom shall we start with? Do we go with the girls or the boys? I'm I sure you're going to say the girls. I think we go with the girls, of okay, course. Okay, so let's yes. go with the girls. So St. Anthony's Girls College can be. We have the captain here, Himaya. How have all of you been preparing for this stage? Well, uh, we've been practicing quite hard and I'm really proud of my team. Uh, this is our first time, so we're a bit nervous. But we hope to give them a big challenge. How is the response like from DSN and I? We have a good team. Actually, I think I have the best team. We are the best from DSN and I College, Columbus. We will face any challenge to make our team proud. Put your hands together for our elite panel of judges who have been with us for season two of Pentathlon on TV One. So, shall we put our hands together for Mrs. Lakshantini Gunratna in service advisors, Rejavad Prasoon. Also joined with her is uh, Mrs. Ayoma Damianti, teacher working with bilingual team in the Ministry of Education. <laughs> well, while we welcome our two distinguished judges for this very challenging game, which we will be witnessing in a little while, I think it's right about time that we go for the tossing and oh, find out which one yes. of the teams gets to go first in all of the rounds. So let's call forward the two captains. We have Himaya from the girls' side and Subhat from the boys' side. Please come forward. It's time for the toss. Okay, I'll just rest my file a little bit over here and I would like to invite one of the judges to come forward to give the decision and take a look as to how the toss is taking place. Okay, so we have the toss here. Just a little bit for the captains to get to know about how this whole thing works. Just like any other toss, so we have two sides which one reads Pentathlon and the other reads TV1. Captain's got it. So what would you like to select? All right. So what what are you selecting? Two gentlemen TV or two gentlemen. pentathlon? <laughs> okay. Uh, we choose pentathlon. All right. Okay. So here we go. One, two, three. It's pentathlon. So okay. It's on uh, the favoring side of the girls. And what do we do now? Are you going ahead with taking no. each game first, or no, are we are you going to give them a chance? They are going to hand over the chance to you. Okay, so there brings a start to the game. So we shake hands and start things off. Okay, so let's begin the competition with Balance Your Quiz. Balance Your Quiz is the first round of today's game. Well, in Balance Your Quiz, there is a little bit that you would like to know, and I think Krishma has the details of this. How does this whole game work, Krishma? Well, it's very interesting because each of our teams gets to select three co-players. And these co-players come forward turn by turn. They will be given 30 seconds each in which they get to answer five questions. They will do all of this while balancing a ping-pong ball on a table tennis paddle. If they drop the ball even once, they will be disqualified with minus 10 points. However, for the first four questions answered correctly, they get five points. And for the last question answered correctly, they get themselves 10 points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of how round one works. So, girls, boys, are you all ready? Yes. So, Captain of uh, 
Justin and Aiko. It's your call. Select three players who will be competing in this round and they will come forward. It is going to be uh, Daham, Ranjuga and myself. Okay, and what about the girls? Uh, it will be Kimasha, Marvin, and me. Can we have the first player of uh, DSN and Aika? No. So we start in 3, 2, 1, go! Geiger counter is used to measure what? Pass. The answer is radioactivity. Mekong River is the longest in which country? Hong Kong. Wrong, it's Vietnam. Who wrote the novel, The Great Gatsby? Great Gatsby. Pass. The answer is F. Scott Fitzgerald. Which country was formerly known as Rhodesia? Rhodesia, Zimbabwe. That's the correct answer. In which year did US... Your time is up. One of the girls coming forward? It's Marilyn. Okay, so we have the clock set at 30 seconds and your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Which is the most abundant metal on earth? Yes. The answer is aluminium. Which is the longest river in Australia? Yalu River. Can you repeat that? Yalu River. That's wrong, it's Murray. Who wrote the novel The Black Tulip? The answer is Alexander Dumas. With which North American country does USA share its southern? Your time is up. Boy, who is the next boy to come forward? Andrew. You are ready? Okay. So, 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1. Which planet of our solar system has the longest day? Venus. Correct. Who wrote the fairy tale Pinocchio about a puppet? Pass. The answer is Carlo Colledi. Which SI unit is used to measure force? Newton. Correct. According to latest rankings, 17 out of top 25 universities of the world are located in which country? Pass. The answer is USA. How many astronauts have set foot on the moon? The answer is 12 and your time is up. Who's coming up next from the girls' team? Kimasha. We have 30 seconds on the clock. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1. How many moons does Mars have? Three. Wrong, it's two. That's a disqualification with a minus 10. We have the final to go from DS. I'm Who's coming. In 3, 2, 1. Which chemical element has the atomic number 50? Sodium. Wrong, it's tin. Which bank was awarded Nobel Peace Prize in 2006? Grameen Bank. Correct. Which government department in USA is associated with handling foreign affairs? Government of Defense. That's wrong, it's Department of State. Bambarakhanda, the tallest waterfall in Sri Lanka, is situated on which river? Mahavil River. That's wrong, it's Malave. Simone Biles. Time is up. up. Final to come out from uh, St. Anthony's Girls College, Candy. Come forward. It's the captain. Three, two, one. Which chemical element has the atomic number 100? Sodium. Wrong, it's fermium. Name the UN Secretary General who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2001. Pass. The answer is Kofi Annan. Name the current Secretary of State of USA. Pass. Rex Tillerson. Lakshapana Falls is located on which river? Pass. The answer is Kelani. Katie Ledecky won multiple Olympic gold medals in which sport? Your time is up. Your time's up. And the answer is swimming. So, Trushma, it's time for us also to see how the teams have scored at the end of round one. But before that, we have more excitement and we'll be heading on to a short commercial break. This is TV One Pentathlon Season 2.
Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season Two. Well, Prishma, we had a very successful round, I would say. Yes, round one was indeed. Good. And we're now back with the scores at the end of round one. Let's find out how the girls did versus the boys. We start, of course, with the ladies, as always. St. Anthony's Girls College Candy in the first round unfortunately scored themselves minus 10 points. The boys from DSN and Ike College Colombo in this round scored themselves 20 points. We have to find that out in this round, which is called Express to Impress. Well, in this round, we're looking for the school that can truly impress our judges with their creativity, innovation, storytelling ability, and of course, acting skills. Because each of these teams, all players come forward to act out a story based on a dramatic lead that we will provide them. So we'll go ahead with the competition. Krishma, yes, the ball is in your hands. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so let's start off by finding out what DSN and Ayaka College Colombo picks up for themselves. Number seven. Let's take a look at the topic that D.S. Senanayak College has picked for themselves. Suresh had the belief that hard work pays no dividends, as at the end of the day, it was luck that mattered in one's success. Therefore, instead of studying for his board exams, he spent more time investing in lottery tickets. One day... Give it up for the team as they take stage and also... Hello Suresh, are you going to school today? No Daham, you know. what's the point of going to school? Only thing that matters in life is luck. Don't be a fool man, luck is nothing, in the end only hard work pays so. Listen, today my mother gave me 3000 rupees to pay the school fees. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the lottery store and buy lottery tickets with, the, with that money. Don't be a fool man. Are you coming with me or not? No, no, you go, I have to go to school. Whatever man. Oh, good morning, Suresh. Uncle, uh, can I have lottery tickets, please? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, here's the money. Oh. So, how many are you going to buy? Uh, I want, I want as much as I can get, get for this money. Okay, then. Well, then, then take this all. All of this? Yes, yes. All of this? Yeah. Uncle, can you read out the winning number? Uh, the first number is 100, then 90, um, 62, 12, and the English letter is B. Are you sure that's what's on the paper? Yes. Oh no, what have I done? I lost all my money and now I have nothing. How am I supposed to pay the school fees? This is bad. Oh no, the Today I have a lesson to... about the importance of hard working. Hard working is important for all of us to have a successful life and to gain victory in our challenges. Excuse me, so, sir. Yes. Suresh, yes. why are you late? Uh, sir, I got uh, stuck in a traffic jam. Stop. I knew everything. <laughs> Girls, are you ready? Okay, girls are ready. Let's see what they pull out. There is a rumor going around in the locality that Mr. Sampath has a tail which he hides wrapped in his sarong. Every boy in the neighborhood was curious about this matter. So one day, Lahiru followed Mr. Sampath to the riverbank when he went to bathe. Hiding behind the trees, he noticed something suspicious and came to inform his friends. To discover the truth, one day Lahiru and his friends entered Mr. Sampat's house and hid under the bed. And then... Are you all ready? The time is set. The time starts now. Oh, you know that Mr. Sampat has a tail. 
but he's not sure. Yeah, yeah, I also heard that, but I also not sure that. Uh, Let's go to his uh, home. That's a good idea. And see what he really has now. That's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Come, come. come. Is, Come, let's go. is a good idea? Yeah, it's good. Then, Well, hello boys. I thought that you would come. You want to see my tail? Just see it. I don't care. Everyone says that I have a tail. It's not my tail. Oh, really? And then what is it? It's It's a tail, actually. Um let me begin with my story. Yeah. When I was born, I had this tail, uh, and I can't run, and I can't do athletics. I love athletics, but I can't do it because my tail comes. So, I wear sarongs every day. I can't wear trousers and all. That's not good. Just see if you have a tail. What would you do, and how would you feel? I like to see two things replayed again. You know what it is. What is? You're going to see it too. Okay, can I have the captain a little bit? Come, come soon for a second. Two boys volunteer. Come, come. You have to stand here, okay? Okay. Come, come soon. Yeah, he's, he's not going to do anything. You have to just stand and wait. Can you replay that act? What you did? Ah, oh, boys, what's happening there? Do that again. Not real boys, huh? Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Oh, boys, what's happening there? <laughs> Continue the tail part. You can't by your side. You try to do that. You try, man. No, no, you I try. Don't. You're suppressed, anyway. Ah, boys, what's happening here? Is that good? Why that tail part? Oh, there's the tail part. Ah, boys, what's happening here? So we'll wait for the decision of the judges and see what they have to say about the performance which they witnessed in round two, Express to Impress. It's obvious that the captains and their teams had planned their plots extremely well and they have staged very good acts on this stage. Congratulations and considering the criteria uh, like imagination, creativity, content, presentation, fluency in speech, we have awarded marks and St. Anthony's Girls College has been awarded 73 marks while DS Serenaika College has been awarded 65 marks. Well, thanking the judges for going ahead with their decision in granting the points, which is final in this round. Well, I think Krishma has a countdown as to what the scores look like of each teams at the end of two rounds. Let's take a look. Let's now find out what the scores stand at the end of round two. We have St. Anthony's Girls College Candy with points of 63 so far. <laughs> Meanwhile, DS St. Anike College Colombo is in the lead with 85 points. What the basket? Each of our teams gets to select a word which is of 12 letters that they have to try and guess. 
and to help them guess, they will have the three co-players coming forward to successfully try and net the ball into the basket. Each successful attempt gets them 10 points and that will also help them unlock an alphabet to help them try and guess the word. If they fail to do that, unfortunately, they might have to send player number 4 and 5 and if 4 and 5 miss their target, they get minus 10 points each. However, if they guess the word right, they get 70 points for the same. Should we give them a number to go ahead with? Number 8. This is word number 8. Let's take a look. Okay, along with that being said, uh, the captain has to select three players who will be going forward. It will going to be uh, Daham, Senia and myself. Right, so captain and the two other players. Okay, so the word appears on the screen. Two blanks, an S, two blanks, a T, two blanks, an R, two blanks and finally an E. Captain, who will you be sending first? Senia. Okay. Before that, which letter would you like to unlock? The first letter. Come forward. The hum will be coming next. And which letter? The blank after T. Blank after T. Okay, let's see what happens here. Good try. The final to go from the team. I'm coming and the blank is blank before S. And to the goal it is. Are you going the to continue player. with another player? Yes. Okay. There he comes forward. Letter, letter Which unlock. letter would you like to unlock? The letter before T. The letter before T. Captain, your call, are you going to send the final player or how does it work? Cannot. They will decide what the word yeah. is? No, we are sending a player. You are sending another player? Yes, the fifth player. Okay, the score. fifth player comes forward. Okay, it's the captain's call and the determination of a player. Can I hold this for you? Are you okay? Okay, okay let's you. see how this goes. Before this, shall we give him a cheer and also, which letter would you like unlocked? The letter? Letter before R. The letter before R. Okay, are you ready for it? Let's see how it goes. Shoot the bus. Perfect! Okay, great, great, great. Are you okay? Captain, you send all your five players and then now we are ready can to decide send the word. on the word. Okay, the word is disintegrate. Disintegrate. D I S I N T E G R A T E. Are you sure? Are you sure about the decision you made? Captain, you said you sent all your five players. Even with the final player making it hard to go out there and shoot at the basket. Are you watching us right now and do you think it's the right word? Take a look for yourself. Well, that is the correct enough for ESA Matter. Let's take a look at what they choose. Number six. Number six. Okay, while that happens, Captain, have you decided on who is going to play the game? Kimasha, Isiri and me. Okay, right, so she has selected herself and another two contestants for this round. Let's see what the word is. There you go, the word on the screen with two blanks and an M, two blanks, S, two blanks, an A, two blanks and E. Well, who is going first and which letter would you like unlocked? The first blank. Uh, who is next? And the what? second blank. And the I'm second blank, and who is going forward? The captain of the team stepped forward.
Can we have the final player together with the letter you would like to be unlocked? Kimasha is coming. Uh, the fourth player. What's your call next? Are you going to get the other two players on the field or are you going to decide what the word is? What's your decision? The blank before it. But are you going to send a player? Yes. Who is the player? Mommy. It's a close one. Captain, what's your call? Ocean is coming. Uh... Also know that there's a deduction of points whenever you select more than three for this round. So you're going to go ahead with the other player? Yes. You are going to take that challenge. Right. The blank before it. Are you going to decide on the word? We're going to guess the word. You are going to guess the word because you have no other option left. Immeasurable. Can you spell it out, please? I M M E A S U R A B L E. Are you sure? Yeah. You all scored well with the basket, but have you all scored the best when it comes to reading out the word? That is. A plus point for the school. Give it up. That is the correct answer. Well, we'll take a short breather and see you again on the other side. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back. You're watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, it was indeed a very exciting round just before we broke for a small commercial break. Yes, indeed. It's time for us now to find out how our two teams have scored at the end of round three. Let's find out the individual scores first before we find out the total so far. In round three, we had DS Sena Naika College Colombo scoring themselves 80 points. And we had St. Anthony's Girls College Candy also scoring 80 points. So what does that make our total so far for both of our teams? Well, at the end of three rounds, we have St. Anthony's Girls College Candy with a total so far of 143 points. And we have DS St. Anike College Colombo leading with 165 points. Well, as the scores stand as such at the end of Three very exciting rounds. It's time for us to head on to round number four. It's Target Your Not. In this round, each of the teams gets to send forward three co-players. And each of these players, in turn, will try to target their dart to hit a colour spinning wheel. Each of the colours on this wheel represent a particular subject area. And depending on where the dart falls, they will then be asked a question from that area. Each correct answer gives them 25 points if they choose to double. And if they answer correctly, they get 50 points. But if they choose to double and answer wrong, they will then get negative 15 points. Well, those were the rules and regulations of round four. So we'll go with the boys first. Dear Sinanaika College, Colombo. Who are your three participants for this? It will be uh, Ranjuga, Senia and myself. Okay, and what about the girls? Uh, it will be Isiri, Kimasha and Oshin. Okay, so we'll start with the Eastern and Ica College. Columbo, who's going in first? Ranjuga is going first. Are you ready? Okay, time starts. Three, two, one. Hey. It is yellow. You've got arts and entertainment. Would you like to go in for a double? No. No. Okay. Let's take a look at your image. Name this English musician, 
singer songwriter who was a former lead singer for new wave rock band the police your options are a sting b david bowie c phil collins or d mick jagger your time takes 15 seconds to answer your questions The answer is A, sting. Sting. The answer is A. A, sting. They've answered A, sting. And that is the correct answer. The girls coming out of the field and see how well they take part. Who's coming forward first? Isiri. Three, two, one. It is red science and technology. We got red for science and technology. Would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Name this IT executive formerly serving as the president and CEO of Yahoo and was listed several times on annual lists. of most powerful women in business your options are a mary bara b megan whitman c marissa mayer or d iron rosenfeld your time starts last 5 seconds Uh, the answer is D. You've gone for D, Irene Rosenfeld. The correct answer is C, Marissa Mayer. Okay, right. Let's move on with the competition. Dear Sinanak, who's the next to come? Kelly is the next. This time starts 3 2 It is blue. You've got blue for sports and games. Would you like to go in for a double? No, we are not going for a double. Okay, no problem. Let's take a look at your image. Name this Welsh professional footballer who plays as a winger for Spanish club Real Madrid. Your options are A Gareth Bale B Eden Hazard C Wayne Rooney or D Harry Kane The answer is A uh, Great Gareth Gareth Bale Are you sure? Yes, we are sure about that. No second guessing? No. Nothing okay. at all this. Nothing. They're absolutely all. sure the correct answer is indeed A Gareth Bale. Good <laughs> body of favor. Geography. Geography. Okay, let's see how it well it works with you all. Who's the next to come forward? Kimasha. Time starts. Three, two, one. Jeez, orange. You've chosen history. Would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at your image. Name this American political scientist, diplomat and geopolitical consultant who served as the United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under the presidential administrations of Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. Your options are A. Henry Kissinger B. Robert McNamara C. John Foster Dulles and D. Dean Rusk. Your time starts. Let's make it a quick decision. Dean Rusk. Can you say again? The answer is D. Dean Rusk. D. Dean Rusk is your answer. The correct answer is A. Henry Kissinger. The final. Go. I'm coming out. Bro. Dear Sinanaga Colleges, the captain. 
Nadal. Three, two, one. You know what that means? You know what that means? Wait, wait, I didn't tell you what it means. It means a disqualification. We have one more from St. Anthony's Girls College to come forward. The final contestant, step down. Three, two, one. Whoa. My hand is asleep. It's yellow. Girls, you've got arts and entertainment. Would you like to go in for a double? No. No? Playing it safe? Yes. All right. Let's take a look at your image. Name this English rock and blues guitarist who was ranked number two in Rolling Stones magazine's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time and only three-time inductee to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Your options are A. Elton John B. Eric Clapton C. Phil Collins or D. Mick Jagger Your time starts The answer is C. You've answered C. Phil Collins. The correct answer is B. Eric Clapton. The boys from the Nike played a more fair game, a better game, I believe, than the girls from St. Anthony's College can be. But nevertheless, the next round is going to be even more challenging. It's called the buzz around, and we'll be right back with the scores from round four and the total so far. Time for us to now find out how each of our teams have fared in round four. In this round, we had St. Anthony's Girls College Candy scoring themselves zero points. But we do have DS St. Anike College from Colombo scoring themselves 50 points. find out what the total is so far at the end of four rounds. We have St. Anthony's Girls College Candy with a total so far of 143 points. And the boys from BS St. Knight College Colombo are leading with 215 points. Well, 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 that's how the rounds have ended so far, all up to round four. Girls, don't disappoint yourselves. The next is a chance where you can score some points for your school. And boys, don't stop trying. Try harder. Maybe you could score even better. Okay? Right. And it's time for us to enter into the fifth and final round here for today, which is called... Buzz around. We're now in our final round, the buzz around, and as the name goes, each of these teams will be asked 10 questions in total. The team that presses the buzzer first gets a chance to answer. Each correct answer gets themselves 10 points. Each wrong answer or no answer gets themselves minus 5. Well, those are the rules and regulations of the fifth and final round. So, teams, are you ready to hit the buzzer and answer the questions? Ready? Yes. Okay. So, also remember that you've got a very limited amount of time after you press the buzzer, which is only about five seconds of time. So, let's start off with the rounds. And Rishma is ready to fire those questions at you. Question number one. Long Walk to Freedom is an autobiography by which prominent freedom fighter? Time's up. The correct answer is Nelson Mandela. Number of stripes in the flag of United States represent the number of original states involved in forming 
the independent republic in the 18th century. How many stripes are there in the US flag? Okay. 13. 13 is the correct answer. Prime time and daytime Emmy Awards are given to excellence in which industry? Music. That is the incorrect answer. Negative marking of five points will be given. The correct answer is television. Question number four. Joseph Schooling won the 100 meter butterfly stroke event at the Rio Olympics and won the first ever Olympic gold medal for his country. Where is he from? Okay. Nitina? Singapore. Singapore is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number five. Name the British scientist known as the father of modern computer science. Alan Turing. Alan Turing is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number six. Name the only great lake out of five great lakes to be situated entirely in the United States. Subha? Michigan. Michigan is the correct answer. <laughs> Question number seven. Name the first breakaway republic of the former Soviet Union. Subha? Lithuania. Lithuania is the correct answer. Question number eight. Name the Nobel Prize winning Colombian writer who was instrumental in introducing magical realism to literature. Garcia Lorca. Unfortunately, that's the incorrect answer. The correct answer is Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Question number nine. Mark Zuckerberg dropped out from which university to start up Facebook? The Harvard University. The Harvard University is the correct answer. <laughs> and we now move on to the final question in the final round. Question number 10. Tenzing Gyatso is the religious name of which present day spiritual leader? Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama is the correct answer. The final result and the pet athlete of the day is coming your way right after this short break. Don't go anywhere. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back to your week, TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, we finished a few rounds, I would say, which is very challenging and exciting and also a little bit of drama in the middle of those rounds as we move forward. So we have come to the end of a very exciting competition. But before that, we, as we mentioned to you during the rounds that we'll be selecting the pentathlete, and I think it's time for us to pronounce the winner. And for that, I would like to invite Mrs. Aoyoma Damayante, teacher working with bilingual team in Ministry of Education, to pronounce the pentathlete of this competition. Yes, today both teams performed very well. Congratulations to both teams. Uh, considering overall performances and the points given, we have selected best pentathlete as Subhat from DSNNI College, Colombo. Subhat from DSNNI College, Colombo bags the pentathletes of this competition. With that being said, I think it's time for us to find out what the scores are at the end of five challenging rounds. Krishma is the one to spell it out. Well, these are the scores you have been waiting for because it's time for us to find out who wins this match. Let's find out about the individual scores in the final round first. St. Anthony's Girls College Candy in the last round scored themselves 10 points. And in the final round, we had DS Sedanite College Colombo scoring themselves 50 points. Krishma, what do you think 
has happened at the end of five rounds. Well, let's not keep you in suspense any further. The final results are out. The total at the end of five rounds stand as follows. We had St. Anthony's Girls College Candy with a final score of 153 points. And we had DS Cinematic College Colombo with 265 points, making them the winner of today's match. I would like to invite on stage our two esteemed panel of judges who have been with us. Let's start off by recognizing and rewarding the 10th athlete of the day right here from DSL Nike College, Colombo. Let's give it up to Subhat, the captain. Let's now really appreciate the hard work put in by the girls from St. Anthony's Girls College Candy. They really put up a good fight. Let's give it up to them as they come forward to collect their certificate. All good things must come to an end. But here at Pentathlon, we don't believe that because we have more excitement lined up for you in the weeks to come. While we congratulate once again DS and Anika College Colombo for moving ahead in the game and gaining victory in this competition. And also once again, congratulations for the team all the way from Candy, St. Anthony's Girls College for joining with us. It was a good competition. And we have more excitement as we told you. It's a wrap for today. Yes, indeed. Join us next week. Same time, same channel. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Molly, what's wrong with you? Call me, please. Forgive me, please. Darling, sweet, cute little brother. I'm going to be your little brother. <laughs> okay, I want chocolate. <laughs> oh.